This is a Queen Mary's College video on the production of the primary protein structure, otherwise known as protein synthesis. We're going to be looking at how the amino acid chain is produced in terms of putting the amino acids in the correct order. As you can see from the animation, they're linked together by the condensation reaction to produce the polypeptide chain or the primary structure. So just to remind you there, the primary structure of a protein is the sequence in which the amino acids are joined together. So it all starts with the DNA bases, provides the, the code in order to put the amino acids in the correct order. So at the start then, the DNA molecule, the double helix, unwinds. not the whole molecule, just a section or a gene that unwinds, the gene responsible for the production of a particular protein. So the two strands separate, exposing the bases and the sequence of bases on the revealed DNA strand is copied. point about the DNA bases we haven't made already is that they are in groups of three called a codon. So for this sequence of bases you can see that there are four codons. So in black you can see the, uh, the DNA sequence of bases and the copy made in blue is known as messenger RNA. Messenger RNA is messenger ribonucleic acid. You can see it's similar to the DNA molecule in that it has a sugar, but instead of deoxyribose sugar, it's a ribose sugar. These structures are on the data sheet. RNA is just a single strand and the base groups instead of thymine we've got uracil in RNA. So as we said the DNA bases are in groups of three or codons. So to copy this DNA base sequence produce the messenger RNA base sequence which is complementary. So A would be complementary to T but RNA contains uracil instead. So hopefully you agree that the complementary RNA base sequence is as shown there. So the messenger RNA is simply a copy of the sequence of bases, a complementary base copy. And the single strand moves out of the nucleus into the cytoplasm and binds to a ribosome where the protein chain is assembled with the amino acids in the correct order. So looking at the amino acids again, of the 20 different ones. So introducing transfer RNA which is has the job of collecting the correct amino acid. It's just a small length of RNA. Here are the amino acids with the DNA codes that more or less identify them. If we look at phenylalanine, the DNA codon is TTT. So the messenger RNA copy of that complementary base code would be AAA. 
So the transfer RNA molecule collecting phenylalanine would have a code complementary to messenger RNA called an anticodon and this is UUU. So here's the phenylalanine transfer RNA molecule with the anticodon shown there. So the anticodon relates to the amino acid. As we said, the anticodon is complementary to the messenger RNA strand and does the job of picking up the correct amino acid using its anticodon to take it to the messenger RNA strand at the ribosome. Here's a different amino acid, alanine this time. The DNA codon for alanine, CGG. So hopefully you agree that the messenger RNA copy or complementary base code would be GCC. And the anticodon for the transfer RNA molecule would be CGG. So the transfer RNA molecule with the anticode on CGG picks up the appropriate amino acid alanine according to its anticode on triplet code and they bind together and then the trans transfer RNA molecule delivers the amino acid to the ribosome. Where you find messenger RNA strand and where those codons and anticodons are complementary, then binding occurs. So do note then that the messenger RNA strand GCC is complementary with the anticodon CGG. Here we have the transfer RNA molecule with anticode on GAC picking up the amino acid leucine and taking it to the ribosome which holds the messenger RNA strand and binding occurs where those bases are complementary. Then another transfer RNA molecule, this time anticode on CAG picks up valine amino acid and Again, takes it to the messenger RNA where base groups are complementary. And the ribosome brings about the condensation reaction between those two amino acids while they're bound to the messenger RNA strand. Then the next amino acid is picked up. Again, where the base groups are complementary, the ribosome links those amino acids together and you can see the beginnings of a protein chain. Once delivered the transfer RNA molecules can move away. So the next tRNA molecule picks up alanine. Again the base group is complementary so the ribosome links them together and as you can see the amino acids are linked in the correct order as a result of these um, codes. So that's a process known as translation, giving us the amino, amino acid chain correctly sequenced. A lot of information given there, but all you need, all you need is what's on the exam data sheet on the front page. Shows you just a, a few amino acids transfer RNA molecules and their codes and anticodons. So if you can see there, you've got alanine anticodon CGG, 
with the messenger RNA code GCC so you would be expected to make use of that information in the exam and you can see that leucine's anticodon and messenger RNA codon is there as well as valine and glutamine that's it almost so as we said then the transfer RNA molecule brings along to the amino acid to the messenger RNA strain linking up the amino acids in the right order and then the transfer RNA leaves